Hey guys, welcome back to Time Machine Scale Models. Well, it's been a few days since I did an update, so I figured I'd jump on here and do another one. I haven't really been doing much, a little bit of modeling, but uh, I don't know if any of you noticed, but I reached 700 subs. And I need to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart, all my subs, new and old, for achieving that mark. Because without you, I would never got there. You know, when I first started this channel back in April, I never really thought about subs and stuff like that. I figured I would get five. I used to jokingly say, well, maybe I'd get five subs. And then uh, I thought maybe 100, 200 was possible. But once I got to 500, I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. And now I'm at 700. So I really need to thank all of you for all your likes, your comments, and your subscriptions to the channel. And I hope you continue to stick around and watch the channel grow. So with that said, you guys need to be watching out for an announcement video. I'm going to do a 700 sub giveaway. Give me about a week or two to get some things sorted out, and I will make that announcement. Don't know what I'm going to be giving away, but you'll know as soon as I make the announcement. So, I've been working on this 60 Chevy, and uh, in a couple minutes we're going to flip you guys around, and I'm going to show you what I've been doing, what I've been undoing, and we're going to talk about some of the struggles that I've been having with this thing. So without further ado, let me turn you guys around and we'll take a look. Stick around. Alright guys, thanks for sticking out. Hey, you guys know that saying, proper planning prevents piss poor performance? Yeah, I need to have a poster of that on my wall so I can remember it every day. So let's take a look at what we got here. So I told you that I had some struggles. And the first struggle that I had was putting the interior tub into the cab. It, it's a very, very tight fit. And um, I would say it has a slight fitment issue. The dashboard does not want to slide past the windshield. That was very tough. And initially when I put the interior tub in, I was being very gentle and I was pushing, wiggling, pushing, wiggling, using that technique. And uh, the dash still popped out, the steering wheel popped off, the seat popped loose, and I had to take everything back out, re-glue it together, use some kicker, let it sit a little while, and then I put it back in. And it took quite a while to get it back in and to sit in there properly. And at this point, I'm mostly satisfied with it, but I still think it could have been better. So if you notice, maybe you don't, but to me, it looks like the passenger side dash is just a scotch lower than the driver side dash. But it's going to be what it's going to be at this point because I don't, there's no more room to move anything. Now, maybe I could have notched a little bit and got it sitting down there a little bit further and that would have taken care of the issue. But for the most part, that is a very tight fit between the windshield and the dash. So look out for that if you build this truck. So with this issue, we put the firewall in and it caused a gap over here. And there was a little gap here that I've already partially filled and some gapage over here. I will continue to fill those in and then I will touch up paint them. And down here, it did the same thing. There's a little bit of a gap here. I'll fill that in. Not much of a gap here, but I'll still clean that up and everything. And then I'll touch up paint this. And once the chassis and the tires are in, I don't think you're going to see this very much. But still, I'll know it's there. i got to clean it up a little bit. But otherwise, that's the cab. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Let me get a sip of my, my Joe here. All right, so you probably recall that I said I didn't want to do any chopping on this chassis for the simple part that it was already completed. And uh, as you can see, I've done some chopping. So I've chosen this engine. This is the engine out of the Jeff Gordon Revell 2004 Monte Carlo. It's an SB2 Chevy, and I like this engine, and I want to use it. But I had to do some chopping on the frame rails because 
The engine fits in just fine, but when you put the headers in, it does not. It hangs up on the frame rails. So I've had to narrow the, or thin the frame rails, not narrow them. I had to thin them out a little bit, and they still need a little bit more thinning. And also here, you'll notice that I cut these out over here. Now, initially, because of those headers were giving me an issue, I was trying to go with these headers, which are a little bit closer to the block, a little bit smaller. And they would have ended up like this. So the exhaust would have had to run above the frame, and then I was going to dump it out right here. These headers are a little bit longer, and when I get the engine in and the angle of it, the exhaust will run underneath that frame rail. So further back, this had a tire carrier here, and I decided I wasn't going to use a spare tire. So while I was chopping, I figured I'd chop this out. I also removed the exhaust hanger that was here. I took the cross member out because it needs to be relocated anyway. I also removed the torsion bars that run from the back of the lower A-arm to this cross member. I will be replacing the, the um, torsion bars. Obviously they need them, they don't have front springs. That Those torsion bars are the front springs on this truck. So. All right, as far as exhaust is concerned, what I plan on using is this is 14 gauge wire. And what I've done is I peeled back the clear sheathing that contains all the technical data on here. <clears throat> and I removed all the copper wire from the inside and just left the sheeting. And I'm going to use this mechanics wire. Stick this in here. And then once I have the engine where I want it, and the engine is all painted, detailed in there. What I will do is I will pin this to the back of the header like this. And uh, I will start bending and massaging the exhaust where I want it to go. And the reason why I'm using this, I know some of you guys use um, solder and stuff. And other guys use styrene plastic. Some of you even use aluminum tubing. But this is bendy. You can bend it any way you want, and it's going to hold its shape. And then once it's painted and detailed, you won't ever know the difference. So this is what I'm going to use for my exhaust. I think it's going to work out pretty well. Everything else is as it should be. Just, you know, two steps forward, five steps back sometimes. Just got to work through it. And that's all part of modeling. But this should be a lesson to uh, anybody that's a little bit less experienced or just starting out. Do your mock-ups. Okay? Do your mock-ups. Assemble the whole kit if you have to. And use something like canopy glue. Right? This stuff holds pretty good. You can assemble a whole model with this and never have to worry about it. And then, once you want to take it apart, you just uh, use a little bit of warm water. Soak. And it'll come right back apart. But do your mock-ups. See how things look. See how things are going to fit. Take care of any fitment issues beforehand, before they become an issue. Because one fitment issue leads to another fitment issue to another fitment issue. And that's where I'm at right now. And that's why I thought I was at on the home stretch with this build. And now I've got to back up some. Had I planned that out, we wouldn't be where we're at. I never thought when I decided to steal the inline six out of this and put a V8 in this that I would have this many issues with the fitment of it. And maybe if I chose a different engine, I wouldn't be having such fitment issues, but it is what it is at this point. We're just going to go with it and we're going to work it all out. All right, guys, I got to thank you guys all one more time 700 subs that's a pretty big deal I wouldn't be here without you guys I appreciate all your likes your comments all your subs and uh, all all the time you spend watching my videos I truly do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart from the newest sub to the oldest sub thank you very much
Happy modeling. Thanks for watching.